Is it leather or is it pleather? It can be hard to spot the fake. Synthetic leather or pleather can look and feel very much like real cowhide. It may not be the genuine article, but its growing popularity means it's become a bit of a cash cow. Plenty of good-looking products are made from synthetic leather. To make synthetic leather, they pump a petroleum-based plasticizer into a mixing tub. They add an ultraviolet light stabilizer to provide protection from the sun's rays. And they pour in a flame retardant solution for fireproofing. As the mixer blends it together, they add powdered vinyl until the batch is about the consistency of pancake batter. Next, they pour different dyes into another tub, following a formula for a specific shade. They pipe the liquid vinyl into the tub with the colouring agents. Now, a large roll of paper with a leather-like texture to it unwinds into the coating machine. As tinted liquid vinyl flows into the machine, a mixing arm agitates the batch and rollers below apply it to the paper. The vinyl coated paper then travels through an oven and the vinyl hardens, taking on the paper's texture. The first layer is only a thin one to establish the surface grain. A second batch of vinyl will contain a thickening agent that's why they call it the foam. When applied to the first layer, it will give the fabric shape and structure. They pour the second vinyl concoction into the coating machine and it rolls on top of the first one. The double-layered vinyl then travels through another oven and the heat activates the thickening agent, causing the second layer to expand. Once the expanded vinyl is hardened and adheres to the first layer, they roll fabric backing onto it. A machine then peels away the paper to reveal the textured first layer. Sometimes they print a pattern onto the vinyl to make it look burnished or two-toned. Then they mix a solution to build up its durability. Rollers apply it to the synthetic leather, finishing off this production run. But hold on, it's not quite ready to be shipped out. Samples from every run undergo a battery of tests. This machine rubs the fabric up to three million times to see how it wears. Then there's a stretch test. They fasten a weight to a secured strip of synthetic leather. The weight pulls it to double its length, but it doesn't tear, which means this fabric has a lot of give. This test is a trial by fire. They hold a piece of synthetic leather over a flame and it catches light. To pass this test, the fabric must actually self-extinguish in two seconds does, thanks to the flame retardants in the material. Next, they secure a piece in some framework and slide it into an oven to heat it to a more pliable state. A vacuum mould sucks the leather to its form, proving this fabric also has thermoplastic qualities. You can't do that with real leather. And because synthetic leather comes in many prints, textures and colours, it seems like it's got everything covered.